So I've had a few people inquire about how I added the Elegoo logo to the corner of my Fluid interface. It's pretty simple once you figure out how. Under Settings, under Theme, there's a whole bunch of factory installed themes that you can choose from. And I'm sure that there are others that you can add in as well. At the bottom of my themes, I have an Elegoo theme that I've created. And to do that, all I did was, well, first I made the logo. And the logo will be available to download on my GitHub page. But if you're interested in making your own logo, then what you'll do is you'll download Inkscape and create your file or find a file that you would like to use, copy it, paste it, and make sure that the size of the file, in this case, the Elegoo logo, is roughly 51.5 by 27.84 pixels. And that seemed to fit the bill for the fluid interface. I'm going to make the assumption that the area that the icon is fitting into is roughly square. So anything around 50 to 52 by 52 pixels will generally fit the bill for that little area there. When you want to save your file, go to File, Save As, and then save it as an Inkscape SVG or a plain SVG, because the .SVG is the format that the JSON file is going to be looking for when we create our additional theme. Open up WinSCP, log into your external device, go to your home folder, your username where your Clipper installation is located, go to the Fluid folder, double click, Come down to the config.json file. Double click on that. And you'll see here that there's a bunch of little blobs of code, if you will, little sections. And each of these sections is a new theme. So basically, because I'm using the standard fluid interface or fluid theme, all I did was I copied the fluid theme from the curly brace with the comma up to the curly brace here. Right click, copy, come down to the bottom. The very last theme, in my case, it's the Elegoo theme. If I want to add a theme underneath it, I would go to the curly brace that correlates to this curly brace right here underneath the curly brace with the comma. Add a comma there. Press enter to add another line. And then paste the theme that I created. From there, delete the very last comma. Change this to something else. And then under the SRC, you're going to give it the name of the logo that you wish to add to your theme. In my case, it was the slash logo underscore elegoo.svg. And again, that will be available on my GitHub page. Looking back at WinSCP, when we're ready to move the file over from our computer to the external device, we simply go to our directory where we save the picture. In my case, it's the pictures directory. I come down, I find the SVG file, right click, copy. Come over to the directory for the external device, right click and paste. Because the naming convention was logo underscore whatever, I kept with that convention and just created a file called logo underscore elegoo.svg. And from there, I was ready to create the rest of the theme. From there, just save. And you can see right here, I added that additional theme which is nothing more than just a copy of the fluid theme. But you can see in the corner, as I change the theme, it changes. In this case, if I pick snake oil, I get a turquoise color. 
I get a different icon in the corner. Go back down to the Elegoo theme. All the colors work and the icon comes up. So that's pretty simple. You can make your own icon as long as it fits within the constraints of this little window here. There is a dynamic setting that you can set to true. A lot of them are false. Some of them are set to true. I haven't figured out what the difference is because I haven't seen much of a difference by going one to the other. But I'm assuming that making this dynamic would make the icon adjustable based on the size of the sidebar. But again, I didn't run into any cases where that was actually true. I'm just going to get rid of this to clean up my file. Save. Refresh. Go to theme. And you can see right here, the theme has been removed. So that was just a quick one for anybody wanting to add the Elegoo icon. Thanks for watching.